Hello and welcome to week 8, day 2 of the Starters Orders Online League National Hunt. Today we've got 12 races for you and we've got races from Kempton where Martin Leadham will be calling us at the calling them home. Then we go to Weatherby where you're going to have to put up with My Dorset Tones, Market Raisin and Worcester. And then Martin will pick up the Group 1 Punches Down Chase and he'll move over to Leicester and Sedgefield after that. So a bit of a hodgepodge of courses. But let's have a quick look at the King George VI Chase, which is the race that will be coming up next, which is race 13. And we've got some top horses in there. Top of the tree is Unbind for Thunderspark. And came second last time out to Spaniards Inn of Darren Thompson and the Lexus, where Darren Thompson's horse was first time out rated 165. Also third in that race was Time to Kill by Joshua Sutherland. Um, we've also got Molly Massini for John Morgan, although a bit of a step up in class for, for that horse. Been running mainly in listed and uh, previous handicaps. And the other horse that we probably should look out for is Acquitted of Paul Rhodes. Now that really has a big step up in class. Been coming second, been second four times, was seventh in a group one way back in the high Jocelyn or to it a long time ago four weeks ago so realistically a bit of a step up in class so I mean if you were looking at it it's going to be between Spaniards in unbind and time to kill then Martin will follow up with a wayward lad novices chase which is a G G2 over two miles and you have for the perfect match for Joshua Sutherland rated 165 should go on and win that one then he's got the desert orchid chase also at Kempton another group two small field there just eight of them going to to post but again between probably blank de noirs of Darren Thompson Goldstorm of Thunderspark and armed warhead for Paul Rhodes to probably get in the winner's enclosure there then I'm off to Weatherby where I've got the Roland Merrick handicap chase which is over three mile one slightly bigger field there the only horse that's a previous winner in the past few weeks is a venture to cognac of Martin Leadham. But uh, there's plenty here that have pulled up, unseated. So realistically, anything could win at that. Top of the tree will be Cat Tow for Carl Arrogante going around with his 12 stone. But Dustmaster of Glam, Crassbuck 140 hurdler comes in off of 90. So uh, going to be in a very low weight, could surprise. Then I'll follow up with the Castle for the handicap chase, and then I'm off. Then I've got the Lincoln's Lincolnshire, Lincolnshire, Lincolnshire National Handicap Chase over at Market Raisin over three mile five furlongs. A big field there again. Only a couple of previous winners in there. One is Big Future of Daniel French. You've got Dan Silly Blue of Stu Gray that came in second last week and Half Supreme of Derek Hinton that won about three weeks back. But again, plenty of pull-ups and a few fallers. So what, anything could win that. Then Martin's over at Worcester. And he's going to have the Hunter Chase, which is uh, midweek. I'm actually not too sure if it's uh, Martin calling that one or, or myself. Um, I'll have to check the flight log of the helicopter and see who's taking us there. And then we've got the four mile at Moors, the Moors Million Stairs, leg 10 at Worcester, the four miler. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure Martin's the one calling these, these home. Um, I'm sure I don't have a pass to get on the on the helicopter. And then we've got race 21, which is the Punches Town over to Punches Town for the Punches Town Chase, a two mile four group one. Conditions there are heavy. But there's a couple of good horses. There's Daz Muyim, was really unlucky last week, being unseating his rider after three previous wins. You've got Goldilocks of Paul Rhodes, Sympathy to the Devil's previous winner for Molly at Surfer, Desert Orchid in there for John Morgan. But you've also got a couple of second time out horses. Thunder Sparks Grunge came second last week, and Joshua Sutherland's Chase the Record, which turned out third last week. So a pretty tight, comfortable field there. Then we're off to the Silver Fox Handicap Chase at Leicester. Yes, we're going around the around the aisles here at the two mile four top weight there is a one is a 0 to 120 top weight there is a levy dotty of darren thompson pro came fourth last week and it's first time out probably kind of even though going to be top weight probably is a slightly better horse you've got my disney's nightmare in there which has had uh, probably the most uh, best form which has come second first second second let's see what happens this week if you can just keep uh, getting me a few quid in the old uh, money pot. Then we've got the Burton Overy Novices Hurdle over two mile six. Paul Rhodes' Meandre goes there. Consequence, consequence of stars of Joshua Sutherland. Bang, Princess of Darren Thompson. And then we've got uh, Ricciardo for James Follett. It came fifth last time out on his first appearance. So ho hopefully we'll uh, go one. Uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit better. Also Aquastar for Thunderspark. Again, last first time out last week. Came second. Uh, rated 136. Obviously we're looking to take a step up and maybe win that one and the last race of the week is going to be at Sedgefield or the day 
Dundee, should I say. There's a two-mile handicap hurdle. It's uh, a 0 to 120. Top weight there is going to be... Oh, it's a 0 to 100. Sorry, my apologies. It could even be a 0 to 90. Well, the top weight is a 90-rated horse, which is Magical Climate, Herbert and Zolano, Belgium, which is Daniel French, James Follis and Alex Cherry's horses. Bottom of the... Pile 20 pounds lighter and racing will be Twix for Alex Cherry, Heavenly Swift for Darren Howes, Paperwork for Sirius Chill, and J Bone for Stu Gray. Well, that's the day. Good luck, everybody. I hope you get some winners. Now, let me hand you over to Martin for the King George VI chase at Kempton Park.